<laughs> I don't want to come back. It's 6.30 a.m. There are already people outside. This line goes all the way from that corner to that corner. Whatever they can fit in those little purple bags, they get for 10 bucks. You guys remember that exorcist tea that I bought when I was down in Florida? I'm about to make my single biggest purchase ever. You nervous, bro? This is the most I've ever spent on a t-shirt. I just sold it for $2,500. Same bitch, holla when you feel this. The day that I decided to sell this shirt, someone emailed me and I told them that I was not going to sell it because I wanted to save it for a whatnot live and do a dollar auction, which is what I do with a lot of pieces. I felt like it would just kind of be fun to see what it lands on and what it ends up going for. And that's actually what I plan on doing with all of these t-shirts back here. I'm going to be selling a lot of personal pieces on whatnot soon. I'll leave a link to my whatnot in the description down below. If you bookmark, that show, that is the show where I will be selling a lot of pieces from my personal collection. I'll be auctioning them all off starting at $1. The person who was interested in the shirt then reached out and said, what if there was a buy it now? I told him a price that was honestly higher than what I think the shirt is worth. And I even told him that I do not think he should buy the shirt because if he waits, I feel like he will be able to get it at a cheaper price. And then after me trying to convince him not to buy it, he still chose to buy it. We'll talk more about that later on because I actually have to get this shipped out to him. By the way, who recognized the changing of the frames? I've not worn these in years. I just woke up one day feeling fancy. Maybe after selling that shirt, your boy's trying to LARP as the art dealer or something. Before I get that order shipped out and the rest of the whatnot order shipped out, of course we gotta make our little daily stop at the Goodwill and hopefully source some goods. All right, into the Kent Goodwill bins. It's kind of windy, so hopefully you can hear me, but of course we have the blueberry almond granola on deck. Wait, they don't even have a full row ready? They got this weak little five-piece chicken nugget over here. What is going on? I got a couple things. I got one of my favorite pairs of pants, Grimichi. Good little hiking brand, and it's kind of funny because lately I've been seeing their stuff on like Essence and Farfetch. I don't know if they've just gotten like more popular, but a really good brand. My boy Ryan wants to buy the uh, Grandma Snuggie right here, little quilt. It's got some buttons, some sleeves. You said you sell it for 30? Yep. Just want to do 15? Sure. Got a nice little stack. I was only there for an hour, but I spent $14.92. However, your boy's got a bunch of extracurricular work to do. I got some orders to ship from last week, so I got to hit the house. All right, so I got this shirt shipped out. Let's just pretend that this t-shirt is the Exorcist tee. They kind of share a similar creepy image, except this individual does not look possessed and it is missing the oh so beautiful back hit. Speaking of this shirt, by the way, I did do a buyout, which I'll discuss some of those pieces in a moment. But first, of course, I want to discuss this t-shirt. Like I said earlier, I sold it for $2,500. I purchased it for $1,450 and I do not know the exact amount that I paid for shipping, but it was like between 30 or 40 bucks because I had to ship a priority require signature and insure it for $25. $500. Your boy's not trying to entrust that much money into any shipping agency. The buyer did get the package. He was happy with the purchase as well, which makes me even more elated because yes, that is a lot of money. But I gotta be honest, I did not plan on reselling that shirt and I did not think I was going to make $1,000. In fact, I didn't even really plan on reselling it until the day before I got the email from him. When he emailed me inquiring about the tea, I told him that I wanna run it on whatnot starting at a dollar because sometimes running those higher end pieces can bring viewers to the stream. And even if I broke even or possibly even lost money, it would have helped me gain followers, which then hopefully equate to future customers. But he was persistent. He asked for a buy it now price. I told him a buy it now price that I felt like was more than what the t-shirt was worth. And I even told him that in the email because I always try to do honest business with people. I also told him that if he wants, he can wait for the whatnot. And I even recommended that he should wait because he could probably find one for either a similar or possibly even cheaper price. I always try to be transparent. I do not try to tell people a price and then tell them that it's a crazy steal unless I genuinely believe that it's a crazy steal. I do that because I don't want someone buying something and not knowing whether or not I'm being honest with them. And now he can know anytime he hits me up, I'm gonna be real with him. I'm not gonna lie to him just so I can make a sale. I do think I know why he still chose to buy it. And I will discuss that uh, later on in the video once I go over some of the personals. But I do wanna show you guys some of the pieces that I bought out. It includes, but is not limited to that t-shirt and a couple other personals that I'll show you guys at the end of the video. But some of the non-personals that will be sold, 80s Harley Davidson, like 70s, 80s Led Zeppelin, 80s Run DMC with that beautiful back hit, beautifully faded sleeveless 3D emblem, 80s Scorpions Bansy, 3D emblem Easy Riders, vintage 3D emblem Bad to the Bone. I am keeping one of the 3D emblems that I'll show you guys later on. Emancipation Tour Prince T, insanely good Black Crows. This one says, get out of New York State before it's too late 
if the taxes don't kill you, the bullshit will. Mother Love Bone Band Tea. Oh yeah, I don't know what this is, but it's kind of crazy. If anyone has any information about this tea, let me know. It only gets crazier. 1993 Alice in Chains. God, I wish this fit me. This or The Sick Man are two Alice in Chains teas that I love and would like to add to the collection. The Elvira with the back hit 1988. The Eraser Head with the back hit. Single stitch, of course. Ice T, original gangster. Single stitch, beautiful fade. And then, this is not just any Dracula T, this is the staff post production vintage Dracula T from 1992. I did get like four or five personals from that buyout, but right now we gotta go hit the thrift store. And today we have a special guest for this trip to the. Dude, this lock always sticks. Anyways, this trip to the thrift what store. This? Give me my coffee, boy. Here's your coffee. Yeah. I also got you a little what gift for your. This is for your whatnot you because you're too tall. How do you use this thing? Well, now not. you have a tripod and this holds your phone right here. So you can oh, like. Oh, man, I'm so spoiled. Wow. It really is good. I doubt it's you. Why'd you sip it like you're modeling? <laughs> the champion hits on the sleeve. How you doing? Good morning. Yeah, nice talk. <laughs> yeah, those are hard. I love that one. I had that a long time ago, bro. Like no, did, back bro. when me and Paul had no, high did. fashion vintage. No, you did, bro. You don't gotta lie. I already had that. Yeah. Oh, doors open. I like your curve. Got little the pistachio Harley. 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 Shut your fucking mouth and let me do this, all right? <laughs> 2008 Harley with Taz, but you wanna see the city? Do you? T-shirt effect, T-shirt transition. There's one bit of clothes, I think. These are all blankets. I got a little reversible Eddie Bauer vest. Thank you so much. I hope you have the time of your life. Yeah, that's my white boy boys. <laughs> nice little antique shop. No clothes, but I got a little piece of turquoise. My boy Robin Hood taught me. Just check if it's real. You just got to make sure that it's cold to the touch. All right, the last stop for today. Find anything good? What are you deciding on when you open it like that? Shucks. How much are they? 15 bucks. What color tag is on sale? I don't know if I can hold it. I might honestly piss myself. Oh, there it comes. I can feel the urine leaking down my leg. Oh, the keys are messed up? Yeah, some of the keys are stuck. Like I'm a leg. Coffee, we got coffee, we got our bed that we're gonna sleep on. Where's the bed at? He's recording on the phone. I forgot my freaking memory card. Which really sucks because I just got this freaking Promist filter that I was excited about using. You like that pistachio latte? Yeah. It's, it's, white. It a... it's white on the bar. Get my beard. Damn, my shit's coming in. Got the scruff. Feel me a little bit rough, but it's all right. I... This is the angle. Let me teach you how to use your camera because I know you're not really good with transitions and editing. Move this right here. Did you, you think... move the air pressure? See, you don't want to see too much dashboard. Then you don't want it, like the view where it looks like someone's sucking your. What would they be sucking? Your little ass dick. <laughs> 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 I don't want to come back. All right, yo, what's up, man? We're uh, tuning into my YouTube right now. The Starlight, that's T-H-E-S-T-A-R-R-L-I-F-E. -R -R -E. What are we doing right now? Is this is show and tell. It looks like a Looney Tunes T A O P. Oh, the black bar. Okay. Yo, you on the screen stars? These are just some whatnot pickups. A Malcolm X joint. Look at the black one, too. Oh, that's hard. By any means necessary. Yeah, that's what I got tatted right here. You have by any means necessary, though? Yeah, right here. Oh, that's fire. Yeah. By any means. <laughs> we're twins. Taz, Fisherman T. Six for this hit. Tony Hawk's. Oh, boom. that's actually hard. Boom, boom, Huck Jam. Oh, Heron Preston. The hell is that? Little designer. Yo, Taco Yo, Bell. Yo, Taco Bell. Nice little Simpsons. Damn, you be going crazy on what not. Probably buy so much on there. <laughs> Do you like the black frame glasses? Gucci. Hold up. Get a close up on that, man. Give him the light skin face. Bite your lip. There you go. And this is the address of Kent. You're never too wealthy to pick up yeah, money off the ground. Four cents. That's probably what? 10% of what a shirt's gonna cost? Damn yeah, right. Look, there's a dime over here, too. You're like, yo, there's a wallet right here on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> No filming in the bins. 
I'm snitching, bro. What are these? Bro, stop using my clients for your content. Oh, Philson. Someone like left these in the closet for like 50 years. Yeah, get you. I saw that he grabbed a Harley hoodie and I was like, oh, she saw like the flames. So I was like, maybe there's another one. Doubled back and of course, I got another one. Backlighting looks good on that pretty ass face. We are about to do some parking lot pimping. Damn, you got some sexy ass calves. Oh, dude. Damn. Model looking ass. Look at him, tall, fit. You don't gotta shit. talk, you don't gotta talk about me the like that. Let me film, I know I'm Just tall and fit. And I know content. I'm tall and fit. Get out of here. I didn't bring my memory card. It's all five dollars. Everything, five dollars a piece. 60 a pop on this one, 40 on these, and then 20 on each piece. So 20, 40, 60. Yeah. I'm gonna make like a yes, a maybe, and then like if it's too far off. I gotta do everything for this fucking guy, man. Forget this camera, now I gotta walk around with this phone. Oh, fuck. This man will take his shirt off every chance he gets. I'm actually gonna put clips together out of all your videos of you taking your shirt off. You should do that. I'm gonna jack off to it. Eight for everything. Nine? Could you do nine? I can't do nine. Me in the middle of like 850. Uh, you said 850? Yes, sir. Will you do 900 if I do the green day? Perfect. Perfect. Look, you got a new Green Day piece. Here you go. No, it's cool. I'm gonna buy it. No, yeah, I got it for you. I already bought it for you. Yeah, nice. Hey, you like that, huh? You're gonna wear that. I can't wait to see you wear that with no pants and no uh, shoes. Uh, Some of these are personals, like this one. That skull one. I just like that. I'm gonna try to fade that one out. That's fucking perfect. I always win. I'm gonna impose my dominance on you. This is what it's like when you give RJ a gift. You guys will see in my next video when I'm gonna do for him. He's gonna be pissed. Bro, we didn't fucking do that. But you're not gonna do nothing about it. Because we're brothers. <laughs> Bro, I'm serious, fucking mad. I didn't really fucking do that. No, I don't care. <laughs> it's 6 30 a.m there are already people outside your boy's tired good morning man you sleep here no nah, no nah, i slept down the street the clothes are right here this whole time the real jig would have just been breaking, breaking into this <laughs> all right the first pile of clothes we got to unload all of these bags you see all the bags on the freaking stage? That's the restock pile. Found these. Nice. Thank you for the free coffee. Appreciate it. Cheers. <laughs> You're success, young man. Grow up happy, not crappy. The only thing you can count on is change. All right, I'm gonna set my stuff aside so I can film. This is the restock pile. Holy. <laughs> this line goes all the way from that corner to that corner. The line literally is this entire city block. Whatever they can fit in those little purple bags, they get for 10 bucks. All right, next batch coming in. You guys are awesome! Remember, be happy, never crappy! Well, baby, I think I love you, but I think I love her too. I don't even know what to say. The line is finally empty. Ah, free clothing, free clothing. Is that everything? Free yeah. clothing, free. So do they take the clothes that you guys drop off and never sell here? I would say that's what they do, man. Try to make a few bucks. This market's going on all the time. Time's crazy. Yeah, it's popping today. The world's popping. Now just because I'm taking a little break from thrifting state to state does not mean that I will uh, discontinue my travels. This is actually where I slept last night. I actually do not mind sleeping in my car at all. I actually feel like I got better rest last night than I have in the last couple oh, weeks. How was your sleep out there? It was good. Did it rain all night? I guess you hear a lot in the car, right? Yeah, I mean, it was kind of peaceful. Hell yeah, it's so fucking fresh out there right now. It's good. I might take that on like the next road trip when I do the next state to state series. You want a good breakfast while for you want? Yeah, we can do it. Did you get anything right? You got everything? Uh, yeah, I think I got everything. All right, man. Stay up. <sighs> Pretty good. How you doing? Good. Where's home for you? How long have you been for? Most perfect street trip. Went to a vintage market. Let's bring it back. Uh, just close. Thank you for your service. You're Thank welcome you. home. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good one. You as well. I always find it weird that people tend to judge others for what they spend their money on and when I look at groups of people it seems like they all spend their money on something that another group doesn't quite understand. And I know there will be people who are not super familiar with the space and some who may be familiar with the space that think it's absolutely crazy that I sold it for that much money because there are always people who think it's crazy when I buy something. For that much money but like I was saying earlier there are reasons or things about some of these items that give it value to the individual 
And being aware of that and not just dismissing that can really help you if you are in this space of buying and selling. And while we're talking about having this sick obsession with personal pieces, let me just show you a couple of the personals that I have purchased throughout the last like, week and a half where all the filming for this video has been done. First, I'll go over some of the personals from the buyout that I did not record. We have this Audio Slave Tour tee from 2003. I'm a fan of Chris Cornell and this t-shirt fits me absolutely perfectly. I do plan on trying to fade this out and I think it'll look really good faded out with that front graphic. We have this 80s Aerosmith. Some of these like smaller 80s t-shirts, because they tend to fit so much more slim, they make me look kind of buff. So I do want to keep this one for the personal collection. And then while we're talking about pieces that show off the gains of course we got to discuss the sleeveless alice in chains low-key kind of bars gains chains then i got this early 90s 3d emblem of course you see the tatas on the tatas although it is a little bit longer than how i've been preferring some of my tees and while we're discussing the length we might as well discuss my cropped masterpiece the ethel meat plow i believe i actually was not familiar with this band before getting this tee someone cropped it and sewed it at the bottom so obviously it has a really boxy fit and thankfully your boy is short in stature so it fits me quite perfect. The last piece I might keep from that buyout is the Cube 93 radio station t-shirt. I'm not quite sure what's going on with the back graphic. I don't know what that is from, but the chest hit has a local radio station from here in Washington, and it also fits me really well. Now, from the second buyout that I did, which that one I did film when I went to the Goodwill with my boy RJ, I got this Fractal Lollapalooza. We have this 80s like skull graphic. This is one that I do plan on fading. Uh, I don't remember how this one fits, but you guys will see on the screen. Then we have this e Eagle tee. Now this will actually probably get sold. The neck is pretty thrashed, but it's the same eagle from the Easy Riders tee that was gifted to me from my boy when I was in Nashville. Super cool to see the blank graphic without the Easy Riders hit. This Indigo Girls has a super sick hit. It does fit me a little bit bigger, but I love the graphic on this piece. This Shorty's tee, I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna keep it or not, but I love the graphic. I don't really wear that many red tees, but the graphic is super sick, and I kinda wanna try to fade this one out and see if I can't make this almost like a pastel salmon pink color. Then the Magnum, not talking about the condoms, although that would be fire the Smith & Wesson vintage gun tee. It is single stitch. You have the big Smith & Wesson logo proudly displayed on the sternum. Once again, in the personal collection. Also, I got gifted some tees from my boy RJ. These do not fit me, but he ends up giving me stuff whenever I like buy stuff from him or try to give him stuff. Like earlier in the video when I gave him the green day. This man cannot just accept a gift, but we got the DOT. Does not fit. And then we got three rolling hard t-shirts. This one right here I actually used to have and I kind of want to fade it out. Then you got the Mac Daddy and of course this beauty right here as well. Now, like I was saying with this Exorcist tee, there are a lot of different things that can affect the value of a t-shirt. And I know some people who are not familiar with these things might find it stupid, but try to look at yourself and think if there are things that you spend your money on that other people think is stupid. A lot of it does hold its value, so it's not like a complete loss when you go to sell it if it is something you are interested in. I'm not telling people to go spend a bunch of money on t-shirts. Usually when I have paid up for shirts, it is because I have felt like I could get at least what I paid back for it. When I bought the Akira from round two for $1,200, and a lot of people said I was stupid, I really didn't think I was gonna sell it for 3,100, but I knew I could sell it for at least what I paid when it came to the Exorcist tee. I didn't plan on selling it, but I also knew if I did sell it, it wouldn't really be that much of a loss if a loss at all, and it ended up being a thousand dollar gain. Now, the reason I think he probably still chose to do it is because yes, there are other alternatives to that t-shirt, but any ones that I have found for sale that are cheaper than that are double stitch, so they're from the early 2000s, which is a different era, they're on a different tag, they don't fit as nice. Also, the cracking and wear of the graphic is not the same, plus measurements. Measurements also play a huge factor when it comes to some of those more rare, obscure tees. You guys might see that like an XL, for example, is usually going to be more expensive than a small or a medium because that size is more sought after. No different than Supreme or sneakers, really anything when it comes to clothing and sneakers, size is a huge determining factor when it comes to price. It is often one of the things I actually really enjoy because I prefer like medium or large. And I did tell him that I would let him know when I run it on whatnot, but he still chose to buy it right then and there. But I think he probably would have ended up paying less, which is what I told him in the email exchange. But I'm also going to be advertising that live for a very long time and there's going to be a lot of people. Plus I highly doubt he wanted to wait another month because he said that he's been waiting for that tea for quite a while. But anyways, uh, yeah, in one month I will be running a whatnot live where I sell a lot of 
my personal collection. At least as of now, I will update you guys with the dates on my Instagram, thriftro, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. I will also keep you guys up to date with whatever the date and time is here on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe with post notifications on. Also, make sure you are watching every video. Go watch a couple of my videos. If you do not get a video recommended in your YouTube algorithm, a quick way to fix that is just by playing some of my videos on my channel and then you will get them in your YouTube recommended. Like I said in the last video, man, I'm glad to be back home. I still will be traveling. This video was kind of a little bit sporadic. I've been kind of going all over and then I just did a last minute trip to Canada. I got some things I'm working on. I want to do another penny challenge, which I did start filming. So I'll probably release that soon. Obviously I have the personal collection video. If that does well, I may do other parts of my collection like my pants or my jackets. I have way too many clothes. Uh, I literally have clothes everywhere in my apartment, just piles on piles on piles. <sighs> if you sneeze, make sure you smash the like button. Also, if you made it this far, you're a legend. I love you. Please comment. Be happy, never crappy! Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. And as always, keep living the star life. Peace. Hey, bitch, holla when you feel this. Fresh up out the county, tell them hoes to get up on me. I was in that motherfucker with some killers. Oh, yeah, look, if it wasn't so hot, I'd be wearing my Kent sweater. Shout out to the Kent Goodwill Bins. That's cool. Mom, what's the address again? 315 South Washington Street.